What's up everybody, my name is Sydney Baker Green and today I'm coming at you guys with a quick no intro video to discuss a little myth that's going around our industry. Content creators have been somewhat lying to you. Gear does matter. And I wanna preface this topic with this. When we tell you that your gear does not matter, we're telling you that your gear should not be a reason as to why you don't create. We're telling you that so you do not let your gear discourage you from creating. What we're telling you is to just go shoot and don't worry about it. However, that's a two-edged sword because if your gear did not matter in this industry, if it really did not matter, then we wouldn't have flagship cameras. We wouldn't have these professional cinema cameras that they use on multi-million dollar sets. And furthermore, us content creators wouldn't be using these cameras to produce the best possible content out there. And I bring this up because I just watched this awesome video by Peter McKinnon and it was awesome. It was very encouraging to photographers not to let their gear get in the way. What he did was he compared a entry-level DSLR to a professional full-frame DSLR under a controlled lighting situation with the scenario as product photography as the example and he wanted us to pick out which image was produced with the professional camera and which one was produced with the consumer camera. And of course, under those controlled situations, you are going to get great images from both cameras. However, the world of photography is not a controlled situation. For example, when I shot my first wedding, my flash stopped working. Now at the time, I owned a Canon T5i, but I rented a 5D Mark III and learned how to use it for the wedding. Had I not rented that camera, I would not have had the gear that had the high performance to handle that situation. The T5i cuts out at around 1,600 ISO. With the 5D Mark III, I was pushing 12,800 comfortably, and that is the max ISO on the T5i. So simply put, if you try to take an entry-level camera out into some nature scenarios, into some sports scenarios, and even some editorial scenarios, your gear will not be able to keep up, or you are at a higher risk of not being able to produce the content if you can't control all the variables. And that's what some of our projects and our jobs depend on. So I'm telling you this because I don't want you guys to go out there thinking that your cameras are superheroes and that they can perform under any situation because your gear does have limitations. And the last thing that you want to do is almost ruin your reputation because you weren't able to produce the images you needed to when it came down to that time because you had a lapse with your equipment. Better gear does make your life easier. It's gratifying to know that. It's gratifying to know that we aren't crazy and it's good to know we need to keep the limitations of our gear in mind. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. That's my entire thing. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below. Remember guys, every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. Peace out.